Okay? So we discuss limit of exponential function. Exponential, what do we mean by exponential? Ibig sabihin here, the functions, yung mga variables natin ay siya ang exponent. So unlike yung previous topics natin, for example, sana um, 3x squared, yung mga variables natin, siyang base lang, and then exponent is just number. So very basic function lang siya. So here class, ang... Ang pinakaiba lang is that yung mga variables natin ay siya naman ang kanyang exponent. So, let's try this for example. We evaluate the limit of 4 raised to x minus 1 all over 2 raised to x minus 1 as x approaches 0. So, makikita mo dito na ang variables ang siyang exponent. Okay? So, first rule is that we substitute first yung x natin, yung value ng x natin dito sa ating function. Okay? So, first, we have 4 raised to 0 minus 1 all over 2 raised to 0 minus 1. And we know that any number raised to 0, okay, any number raised to 0 except that that x is not equal to 0 is always equal to 1. Sa kahit 1 million pa yan, 1 million, okay, raised to 0, that is equal to 1. Take note of that, okay? So, 4 raised to 0 is 1, and minus 1, and then 2 raised to 0 is 1, minus 1, so that is equal to 0 all over 0. And we know that if it is 0 all over 0, that is in the term me in the term me nate. And then if you determine in the, that and if the function is indeterminate, gawan natin ng paraan para masimplify natin siya so that we'll be able to solve for its limit. Okay? Erase ko na to. Okay, let's solve. Kung makikita mo to class, parang ang gagawin ko is that may factors sa numerator and then if a factor out ko siya para later on may makancel out ako. Believe, okay, know that um, itong 4 raised to x, that is just equal to 2 raised to 2 raised to x. Kasi di ba, ang 2 raised to 2 is just equal to 4. Then raised to x, o oh, di 4x lang din yan, minus 1. Okay, all over 2 raised to x minus 1. Ang gagawin ko is that, class di ba, ang a raised to m raised to n is just equal to a raised to n raised to m. Parehas lang yan. Okay? And parehas lang yan sa a raised to n m. Pare-parehas lang mga yan. So, ito, ang gagawin ko is, pwede ko siyang isulat as 2 raised to x squared minus 1. All over 2 raised to x minus 1. So, that is limit of x as x approaches 0. Okay? So, ituloy ko siya dito sa kabila. Kung makikita mo to class, parang makikita mo na naman si difference of 2 perfect squared, a squared minus b squared. Wherein, that is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Ang a ko naman dito class is 2 raised to x. Okay? 2 raised to x ang a ko dyan kasi 2x squared. And then ang b ko dyan ay si 1. So kung i-rewrite mo yan, parang 2 raised to x plus 1 2 raised to x minus 1. Siya yun. Okay? Si numerator ay parehas lang sa 2 raised to x plus 1, 2 raised to x minus 1. I-write ko dito sa right side. Okay? So, limit ni 2 raised to x plus 1 times 2 raised to x minus 1 all over si denominator mo na 2 raised to x minus 1 as x approaches 0. Kung makikita mo ngayon class, Parehas na yon tsaka dito. So, anong naiwan? 2 raised to x plus 1. So, substitute ko na ngayon sa 0. 2 raised to 0 plus 1. Again, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, 1 plus 1, that is 2. So, the limit of this function class, 4 raised to x minus 1, all over 2 raised to x minus 1, as x approaches 0, is equal to 2. Okay, let's try this example number 2. So, evaluate the limit of the function 
1 minus 2 minus 3 raised uh, uh, 2 times 3 raised to x plus 9 raised to x all over 1 minus 9 raised to x. First is that um, with the we direct substitute value of x equal to 0 to our variables. Diba? So 1 minus 3 raised to 0 is 1 times 2 is 2. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Plus 9 raised to 0 is 1. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 9 raised to 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So that means that it's 0 all over 0 or in the terminate. So ang gagawin natin is, is simplify natin si numerator at si denominator or we simplify the function. Okay? By applying some algebraic techniques. Yung mga factoring natin and so on and so forth. In the numerator class, um, i-re-rewrite ko ngayon si 9 raised to x parang yung previous example natin as 3 squared x. Okay? And this can be rewritten also as 3 raised to x squared. So, kung isusulat ko yung class, magiging 1 minus 2 times 3 raised to x plus 3 raised to x squared. Okay? 3 raised to x squared. Loss of exponent. All over 1 minus, as well as this, tong 9 raised to x ko, gawin ko siya 3 raised to x squared. Okay? Ngayon, class, kung makikita mo na, okay, itong 9 raised to x ko ha, ginawa ko siya 3 raised to x squared. Kung makikita mo, class, itong numerator ay parang um, the um, perfect trinomial square. It's not parang, it's, um, it's really a perfect trinomial square. Okay? Yan yung x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Diba? Nakaparehas nyan plus sa x minus y squared. Okay? That is x minus square. Wherein, ang x ko dito, kasi itong 1 plus can be written as 1 squared. Tapos may 2 ka, then kung makikita mo class, ang x ko dito, kung magmumultiply ako ng 1, as is siya. And then I have y na 3 raised to x. Okay? Squared. So, ang x ko dyan ay 1, ang y ko dyan ay 3 raised to x. So, pwede ko siyang isulat class na 1 minus 3 raised to x squared or min dalawang 1 minus 3 raised to x. So, times... 1 minus 3 raised to x. Parehas lang yung plus ha, yung 1 minus 3 raised to x squared sa dalawang, ibig sabihin pag naka-square siya, quantity squared, twice mo siya i-multiply. Okay? All over, plus, makikita ko na naman ito, parang 1 squared minus 3x squared. Ano yan plus? Difference of 2 perfect square. Where in the difference of 2 perfect square, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus B Wherein ang A ko dito is 1 Ang B ko dyan ay 3 raised to X So that is just equal to 1 plus 3 raised to X Ay 3 raised to X And then 1 minus 3 raised to X So i rewrite ko siya Magiging 1 minus A plus 3 raised to X Times 1 minus 3 raised to X Kung makikita mo Meron na namang parehas na factors Sa numerator and denominator. So, pwede na akong mag-cancel out. Cancel. Cancel. Tama ba? Yes. Ngayon, pwede na natin i-substitute si 0. So, 1 minus 3 raised to 0 all over 1 plus 3 raised to 0. So, 1 minus 1, that is 0 all over 1 plus 1, that is 2. So, that is 0 all over 2 or that is equal to 0. Okay?